Now to Marin County, where environmentalists are pushing for a new pipeline to deliver water to the coastside community of Muir Beach. Right now, Muir Beach's 400 residents get their water from nearby Redwood Creek, but the new water line has to be approved before another big project to repave a main road is set to begin. Our Kenny Choi shows us what's at stake. These little round leaves are kind of native clover. Jim White waters his plants using collected rainwater. Every drop saved means less water pumped out from nearby Redwood Creek, which is the only source of water for the residents of Muir Beach. It's the pathway for the endangered coho salmon to travel upstream to spawn every year. It's wonderful to see, you know, a two foot long fish in that you can look down into this stream. But that stream flow has suffered during dry years, creating extremely poor conditions for juvenile coho to survive. The surface flow would be interrupted in places and then there'd be pools. Terry Thomas of the Mern Conservation League is leading the effort to secure a federal grant by NOAA for a miles long water line that would connect the town of Muir Beach and eliminate the need for wells during dry months. When the wells are being used, the water is drawn from the creek and that creates stagnant pools along the creek bed. A dried up creek cuts off the path for the endangered species and more. Thomas and the MCL say this past winter is the first on record in which there were no signs that coho salmon had spawned in the famed creek. It is the endangered species that we really monitor here to get a feeling for how the watershed is doing. And right now they are not doing very well. Thomas says the only solution to get water to Muir Beach that doesn't come from the creek is to green light the pipeline before the planned road rehabilitation project begins in 2026. It's the only path where the water line can be placed. County and water officials are analyzing the feasibility of the extension. It's not a game changer in terms of revenue, nor is it a game changer in terms of an additional demand of our system. Ben Hornstein is the general manager of the Marin Municipal Water District. Do you feel like it could be a, a positive environmental uh, project? Our board does have an environmental ethos. Um, so conceptually, we're, we're very interested. That's momentum for conservationists and residents like White. If we could supplement it through the dry months, that, that we'd all be feeling better about sharing the world with nature. It has been clear that we're going to need to find some sort of a second option for water. That option would make Muir Beach, with some 400 residents, more water resilient. If we have salmon in the creek, it's, it's still um, a wild, wild world, you know. And it would give Jim White some peace of mind, knowing when he turns on the faucet, it's not draining the creek and impacting the wildlife around him. If a water line can't be approved before the road work slated for early 2026, federal regulations would not allow for a project like this for at least five to ten years because the new road can't be altered for other construction.